Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new illustrator tutorial and today I'll show you the logo with the letters. So this one I made the shutter in this logo by the help of the font and I'll provide you that font download link in my video description. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first going to the file and taking new artboard here 2000 pixel or 2000 pixel or any kind of square shape of artboard and the color is cmyk just because of i want to go in future into the praise that's why i'm just making this one and giving the name logo okay and hit the create button you'll get the blank artboard over here and now going to the text tool and any kind of text you can write down over here like in write down at first in will make the logo by the help of this letter and now change the font from here i'll provide the font download link in my video description please check it out here the astron script and the in the new font is just like that and select the i portion you'll get the glyphic over here so what is the glyphic the special case of the font or letter is the glyphic and going to the type and going to the glyphic options you'll find the glyphics form here actually here lots of uh, options select the i options and in the downside you'll get some special cases and the small arrow key just click over here you'll get the options or uh, the special cases like that like this like this these and this i just picked up this one i do love that and hit the like move tool make this one smaller and then just select or the place over here right press and create outline now this one is no longer font and here the small dots that is the eye dots and i'll delete this one okay and now i'll draw another circle here which one is overlapping here the ellipse tool and drawing circle like this okay i'll provide the different color to the circle just because of the ikg purpose here i'm going to here the color is like this okay and now i'll write down any kind of normal font here the shutter I'm going to the text tool again and here i'll change the font into nexabolt and the light whatever you do like shutter i'm just written the name shutter yeah. and making this one a little bit bigger in place over here right press and create outline now all the stuffs make this one group and making the placement into middle our logo is ready now we'll do mock-up with the photoshop i just downloaded the mock-up i'll provide the mock-up download link in my video description that is the 3d class i already downloaded this one here the zip file double press you'll get the folder like this here is the psd format right press and open with with the photoshop 2021 or earlier version of the photoshop just unlock or just turn off the view like this here the smart object double press in a smart object you'll get the logo over here and this logo i'll make copy ctrl c for the copy and ctrl v for the paste you can make this one pixels or smart object if you make this one smart object in future you can edit like a smart object and hit ok and hit the tick button press ctrl or command s and it will save in this window and now you can adjust the lights and other stuff suppose um, here i want to make the light like uh, white the double click the color fill color and make this one is white or if you want you can make is red and like this like this or like this and hit ok so lots of adjustment over here if you want you can give the filter which is dramatic filter if you do like to use that so i made it like simple and now save it out and you can just export as a save as and make this one as a select here the jpeg version and logo mockup okay and saving it out and save it out okay now uh, if you want to use in your photography what should you do 
so the white version i'll make a place the alter option button copy this one and right press and uh, like ungroup all the steps and make this one white so making this ungroup and all the steps select except the dot and make this one white color okay now i'll select this one and make copy or you can export like a png right press and export the selection and you can choose a folder and here the 300 dpi resolution and the png format and export the asset so you have to rename the asset like uh, logo in and now export the asset it will make folder in 300 dpi like this and we'll work with this one so going to the photoshop again suppose i have some photography i want to place the photo over there this this one uh, is and i want to place the logo over here going to the place embedded options from here in that folder the png file is over there and place embedded and making it smaller and you can put it anywhere in a darker portion so remember one thing when you are using the white version the background should be darker when you are using the black version you should use the white background so our logo is ready so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and new tutorials and all the stuffs i used over here i'll provide the download link in my video description until the next video stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye bye